don't be afraid of change, because when I was in school, to the time I'm actually now leading a team, technology has changed drastically. Um, I think keeping up with change and almost embracing it, I think is probably one of the key things that lets you stay at the forefront of innovation and rather you know, following, you start becoming a leader. Um, so I think that's a key sort of component. Um, I'd like to grab a little bit of what these guys said, persistence, you know, being able to sort of constantly go after what you want, um, make your dream sort of your reality. Um, I dream a lot, I do. Um, and it's, I think it's, it's needed for my job to be able to sort of have visions of what I see our brand to be. Um, and um, what he said, problem solving, that's a key component of my job. Being able to sort of a design solution, coming up with it on a daily basis can get very exhausting. But if you have it in you to problem solve and take every um, challenge that comes your way in a, you know, approach it in a fun, creative way, I think you can survive this industry really well. Getting to the technical skills, obviously, you know, good design, you know, you could choose your software that you'd like to design in. It doesn't really matter the medium you choose. It's really a voice that has to show in your visuals. Um, I'd say that's, that's sort of key to see what your perspective is compared to the crowd that you're in. How are you different from everybody else? You know, all of us go to school. We all learn the same design principles. How do you take those design principles and apply them differently is really what I'm looking for in a person. I, you know, all of the people who are interested in design here, I'd say have very similar technical skills. That's not what's gonna set you apart. What's really gonna set you apart is how you take those skills you have and how you apply them in the real world. Um, so I think that's really my take on, mm -hmm. You know, set yourself apart and have a unique voice and don't be afraid to speak it.